Good morning everyone, welcome back to Cruising the South and if you're new to the channel, a big welcome. Here Cruising the South, we share with you guys all the awesome places we go with the boat but also all the problems, services and solutions we come with, come up with, right? And of course we are like in the middle of switching out our engines. Now, you know last video I showed you guys how I dropped her in, how I installed all my cooling system for my oil. Now I'm about to install the, the um, fresh water cooling kit for this bad boy. First I have to slap on the you know alternator, then uh, my water my uh, circulating water pump and uh, I already installed my water uh, raw water pump and fuel pump there right there. So let's get right into it and get this bad boy ready. Okay, so now that I already cleaned the mating surfaces on the blocks, and it's time for us to install this. Now, these are part, this is the brackets for the heat exchanger for the freshwater cooling. So as you can see, you know, this side has two bolts and this side only has one. So that bracket, you now this sits over there like this. So the one with two bolts are gonna go here. Uh, actually, no, there's the spacers. Okay, see like uh, these are metal spacers. So, you know, so this is gonna go like there, like this with a metal spacer. And then this goes one goes here. This one goes over here. And uh, actually it's the other way around. But. And then from there on, you know, this can all go together. You know, since I'm doing this job, I figured I'll put a brand new one of these. So that's a circulating water pump. So let's go ahead and slap her on. Right, guys now it's her time look at this beast so this is the the heat exchanger okay this is gonna go right on top of those rails over there now this thing's like all made out of copper right so one big chunk of copper it's so heavy but let's install her and just keep putting her on let's go So I already have uh, all this hooked up. So uh, this is all done. I put that sensor there already. My other alarm thing didn't fit over here. So uh, I am gonna have to get an attachment. So for now, I just put a cap there. Now we gotta connect the raw water coming into this, okay? So my raw water comes from my, uh, 
my strainer over there from this trainer it goes to my water pump my raw water pump right here from the raw water pump it goes back down passes inside of a heat exchanger for the transmission comes right here and inside of the heat exchanger for the oil now from there we gotta bring it to here with this hose so this hose is gonna connect back right there to right here and then right at this corner right here there's a reducer that is gonna go inside of that hose connect to this hose and this hose is gonna go to the bottom connection right there so all right let's put it together so I'm gonna have to trim this hose to fit so let's do it So, you know, the elbows actually moved this back here because in the middle over there was too tight. So now this one goes to the bottom of that exhaust manifold. This one goes to the bottom of this exhaust manifold. And uh, I also connected the overflow hose from that nib to this bib. And uh, also connected that hose from the circulating water pump to the heat exchanger and also install that reservoir now the next step is turn it on and uh, you know we refill it there's a little procedure about it but let's get that done but I got to do a few more things and connect the electric before we can fire her up so now I'm gonna connect the electric thank you everyone for following along and I see you guys in the very next episode where we'll finish the last hookups for the electric system and we'll start her for the very first time.